Hi guys and welcome back to creating your very own micro drone chassis in Tinkercad. Um, in the last lesson we were learning how to create this battery tray. Uh, and in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we're going to assemble all of our parts together. And before we can do that I'm just going to zoom out and we need to actually bring all the parts back that we have created. So to do this um, what we need to do is go back to our toolbar here and click on the show all button and hopefully all your parts will um, come back, to, uh, we'll, 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 you'll be able to see them. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to align all the parts together. So I'm going to select all three shapes here and I'm just going to click on the align tool and use the two central circles there to align all the parts together. And then what we need to do is we need to actually change uh, the position of some of these shapes. So we need to bring the top half of our drone upwards. So to do this, what we're going to do is select the ducting, uh, well, the, the top half of a drone even. And if I just move to the front view there, what we can do is use this little black arrow here pointing upwards to move our, our, our part. So if I click and drag that upwards, um, we can see we're getting a dimension there. And what we need to do is we need to just, just raise it up there. Um, and I'm going to raise it up by 15.5, which should be the height of my motor mountings there. So you're just going to sit on top roughly of the motor mountings. And once we've got that, um, what we need to do is move the box, uh, the, the battery tray upwards. So I'm going to select the battery tray there and I'm going to use that arrow to move it upwards. Uh, this time I'm going to move it upwards by 12.5. So it's kind of flush with the top of the motor mounting there. And once we've done that, um, what we need to do is actually just do a couple of things before we can actually group it all together. Uh, if I can just click on the home view there, we'll just go back to the kind of top view. Um, and one thing I need to do is I actually need to take out this material here where the motor mountings are, because otherwise the motor won't be able to push through. So to do this, what we need to do is actually ungroup a couple of these motor mountings. So I'm just going to click on my motor mounting there and I'm just going to ungroup. I just need to ungroup until we get back to the stage where we have the holes going through the center of the cylinder. So you might take a few clicks on ungroup there just to get back to this sort of position. And you just need to make sure you do it to every single motor mounting that we created. So I can see the cylinder popping out the top there. And once you get back to this stage, um, what we can do is we're just going to click and drag over the whole model there. Um, should hopefully have, um, well, about 18 shapes there. And once you've selected all them shapes, um, what you can do is click on group. And once I've clicked on group, there we have a finished chassis design. <laughs> 